Hello everyone, we do a 32 back again with a look at this week's mailbag. Let's see what's in the mailbag. Uh, first, I got a game that I got from Board Game Bliss, and it is called Hike. Now, if you've been paying attention, I did a how to play on a game called Hike just a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, whatever it was. That's a different game, kind of about, you know, going for a hike in the woods and dealing with Mother Nature and animals. Sort of a thing, just a set collection game. This one is hike, as in what you say, to dogs in a uh, dog sled race. Hike, hike, hike. <laughs> and uh, it's a, a little card drafting game. And then there's two phases, basically. One phase, you're drafting cards to build up your team. And then the second phase, you're racing the team. So it's kind of an interesting game. It's by... A company called Snowboard Games, by the way. It's their only game they put out. I believe they're from Scandinavia, something like that. And I also got the expansion with that. It came with the expansion. It was a reasonable price. I mean, another website, you can get the game. And I think it was more money than what I paid and without the expansion. So, I figured why not. Then I got some decks here that I got from... Well, actually, I got one here that I got... This actually came on Easter Sunday. You got to live it on Easter Sunday of all days. It's a bicycle deck that I got on eBay called the Bicycle Ethica. For some reason it says family only on the bottom. And Ethica is like an underwear brand. Uh, I think the deck costs more than some of their underwear. <laughs> but their underwear is still not that cheap, in my opinion. Um, but there is that. It's a pretty nice deck with foil even on the backs of the cards, which are a... Uh, Pretty simple look to them with the logo, but nice foil. They also put black borders on the faces. There's a little sneak peek. If you want to see the full review, sign up for the membership. You can look at it right now. Speaking of reviews that you'll be able to see with the membership, uh, a couple of decks that I just got from Carter Dixon, which I'll be doing a review on and posting that up probably before this video is up. And it is some new tally hole decks from... USB-C, the Flower and Butterfly Tally Ho decks. Flower Fan Back and uh, Butterfly Circle Back. Pretty nice. So nice that I actually got two. And they come in these nice cases from Carter Dixon, which is always nice. Uh, even playing card decks is doing those cases now. Uh, everyone seems to want to do them. There's one more deck I got from Card Exper uh, Card Dixon.com, not Card Experiment. It's a different website. I haven't even said that name in ages. But it is the Whataburger deck, which is from uh, Whataburger, which is a American, more than seven U.S. states, I believe, uh, fast food hamburger set. Pointed by USBC, I do believe. Indeed, it is. Yeah, it's a pretty nice classic looking design. I believe the faces are. And it's got customized jokers. Uh, I mean, the faces are at least modified. They're eating food and stuff, but fairly straightforward. I just got this, so I'm just looking at it for the first time. <laughs> and, uh, and then there's one more game, which I got from um, Level Up Games, which is somewhere in Canada, if you get where. Uh, spelled LVL -L up games. It is Mask Man, which is a little ladder climbing game, which is from Oink Games. And it came out a few years ago, and I think it was not too long ago it was reprinted on Kickstarter. Um, I think, but it's a little ladder climbing game where you have cards that have different masks on them, no suits. Uh, no, no numbers, just suits. And you use them to determine the string for different cards, how, how you play them. Like, if I play a pink one, and then the next person plays two green ones, that becomes stronger than the pink one. And you use these little mask tokens to uh, uh, show the strength of each suit. It's kind of interesting. It's not as complicated as I... I, I make it sound maybe a little bit, depends on your difficulty, uh, on your uh, level of gaming. 
<laughs> it was taking stuff like that. But yeah, that is it for this week. I do think uh, something else shows up, which is possible. I am expecting one more from Board Game Bliss, but I don't know when it's going to come. That is that. Comment, like, subscribe, what don't you think? Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.